Well, Arizona Governor Jan Brewer has signed the nation's most aggressive illegal immigration law, but the legislation is not without plenty of critics, including President Obama. Indeed, our failure to act responsibly at the federal level will only open the door to irresponsibility by others. And that includes, for example, the recent efforts in Arizona, which threatened to undermine basic notions of fairness that we cherish as Americans, as well as the trust between police and their communities that is so crucial to keeping us safe. Well, the mayor of Phoenix is also at odds with the governor over the law. He says he thinks it's unconstitutional. Joining us now is Phoenix Mayor Phil Gordon. Mayor, thanks for uh, taking time out to talk with us today. Uh, I want to start with what are your primary concerns about the law as it stands? Well, first that it tramples civil rights, uh, citizens' civil rights, uh, veterans that are of Hispanic origin, uh, those that are here legally. It, it, it pre reverses the presumption on a crime that now everyone has to show and prove that they're a legal resident or citizen. And, and that just goes against both the Constitution and the fundamental fairness that the president was referring to. Secondly, those that don't have an Arizona driver's license children under 16, seniors that don't drive, or people coming in from out of state that don't qualify with their license um, aren't able to prove and therefore are at risk of being arrested and turned over to ICE. But again, their burden. Secondly, it makes it so, so much more unsafe than we were even before. It takes officers off the street to do civil inspection work now when they have a, quote, reasonable suspicion that somebody is a, a cook or a dishwasher or a day laborer is here illegally as opposed to the federal government and we are so short of officers and so short of resources when the officers aren't trained for that nor do they want to do that they want to go arrest criminals and then thirdly what it does is the economic harm it not only does it drive people away at a time when we're in one of our largest crises ever but two, we're getting calls now for boycotts of, of conventions, of businesses, of uh, visitors, of stakeholder groups, and uh, we can ill afford that at a time when we need the extra revenue. It, it, and lastly, it just doesn't do anything. I mean, we, you can't secure a border with a law like this. You need the federal government to secure the border and get a workable immigration policy that doesn't reward the smugglers, which will now be rewarded even more, that, that smuggle people and drugs in versus having a workable immigration system that allows people to work here legally and be tracked, allows people to get into a path of citizenship that isn't 20 years. In, in fact, my grandparents, like many of uh, my generation, came to this country to escape uh, Europe's uh, devastation before World War II. And if they had been told to wait five years even before they could come into the United States, my family wouldn't be here since the rest of their family perished. So Mayor, we me, have to have a... Yeah, let me ask you about this. I mean, you mentioned this a number of times, that the federal government has to do its job in enforcing the borders. We've heard from people, Democrats and Republicans and independents, come from all quarters saying the feds are not getting the job done and that the state had to step up and do its own uh, intervention. Um, you know, if the feds are going to get the job done, but they're not getting the job done, what kind of solution do you see? Well, first is to take all this effort continued. I've been testifying and going to Washington, D.C. to get more resources, to get more border agents and DEA, um, and we need that, and that's what we should be doing. Number two, then put the National Guard on the border to, to help support these in, uh, deal. But this law, which is, by the way, a misdemeanor, all it does is t unfunded mandate that requires Phoenix police now and any police officers to then turn them over to ICE. We pay while they're in jail the, at the sheriff's jail, which we don't have the revenue, and then they're deported and they come right back against, uh, across the border. The solution is, and this may be uh, the silver lining out of this, is that the federal government's got to do the immigration policy and the enforcement, and they've been turning uh, a deaf eye to this. All right, Mayor Gordon, we thank you very much for your time. We know there's a lot of passion on both sides thank of you. the issue, uh, so best of luck.